everyone what's up it's me keith Paris, the icm beauty warrior here what's up you guys i miss you guys so much but guys i feel like i've been really consistent here on youtube just keep giving guys such amazing content so i have for you one of the newest like makeup styles i've just been seeing floating around tiktok it's just been seeing this floating around in the korean community and i'm upset if you guys know me personally and if you're now meeting me for the first time hi my name is keith i'm obsessed with k-pop like just Korean fashion in general and stuff like that so I am so obsessed with like their makeup style and just like the way how they're dressed like even like their fashion it's like I feel like it's better than here in America so I literally like had like I'm obsessed with just looking at Korean like makeup tutorials and obviously I'm obsessed with a lot of K-pop groups like I love EXO I love I'm obsessed with Blackpink I'm obsessed with TWICE and ITZY like guys we're gonna get some K-pop and by the way we're gonna get some K-pop content out of me super super soon just wait just wait just wait just wait it's coming it's coming it's coming i know i keep saying that about it. yeah it's coming I'm here to record just like this glass skin makeup tutorial that i have going on my face right now i change i feel like every time i do a new makeup tutorial i feel like i'm evolving as a person i'm always learning new techniques i'm always me personally for makeup for me i like to like make my makeup look like skin so that is what the goal is here today and look guys like it's looking like skin. It's looking like skin, and I, I, you guys already seen the close up. I had some close ups of me just like modeling, posing for you guys in the camera. I had so much fun creating this. Literally, um, I'm obs I just been obsessed with like Korean makeup for a very long time now, and like I live here in New York, and there's a lot of Korean stores that that sells Korean makeup. So y'all, I spent like so much money on Korean, let alone Korean skincare and even Korean fashion and even Korean makeup. I feel like it's such so, I feel like it's such like a unique thing. And I feel like we all should be taking tips and techniques from, you know, just like this style and I love it. So yeah, I'm super excited to, to share this. this. You can consider this look as like this is a glass a tutorial how to get how to achieve like the glass skin look and then also this is kind of like my old my um Ong Zong look too so this is literally like my best face if you don't know what Ong Zong, Ong Zong means it literally just means like your best face so like literally this is like my best face so like also too if you're not following me on instagram too you should follow me there too because that's where you guys will see like product details i'm like showcasing on my social media and what i have on my face or like what i'm posting on my story too so like if you've been following me, you probably already know I've been promoting like a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about to you guys already um, in this video. So kudos for you. So if you haven't been following me on, on Instagram, make sure you guys it's linked down below. My TikTok too is linked down below with my Twitch and my Discord. Everything will be linked down below for you guys. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking. This is pretty much a voiceover too, but I just want to talk to you guys and say hi. And I miss you guys and really just talk what I've been obsessing with. So yeah. So without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, it is voiceover time. So now we're doing skincare. So first thing to get this glass skin, I'm using the Sung Jung skincare um, brand. I'm using um, just their skincare um, pack that they had that I got from like a Korean skin, skin store. Sorry guys, I cannot talk today. So I'm using the Sung Jung toner first and then I'm going in with the Sung Jung moisturizer. As you can see, I'm placing the moisturizer. I'm really focusing it on where my high points on my face and then also on like my forehead. I kind of really don't like doing the glass skin type like this technique on like my forehead region because my forehead does get oily and that's like where I see a lot of products so you will see later on I'm gonna like dilute the product um the product like on my forehead like later on but as you can see I'm just really like um using this product and swiping motion to really make sure the um, product is just locked in into my skin as you can see we're already starting to get a glow from within as you can tell like by like the lights and stuff like that and me just focusing the product on all over my face and i love that as you can see right now as my cheeks we're getting a glow and then another key point for getting glass skin is hydrochloric acid anything with hydrochloric acid in it you need this for your skin so i'm placing that on the eye points as well and as you can see i'm using like swiping moist motions and i'm patting that in on my skin too and that's really taking that time to just make my skin look like skin and obviously it's giving like it's looking like skin so I'm loving it I'm living dying breathing so yeah I feel like we already achieved this step so this is like literally like this glass skin so now I'm gonna be going with some orange corrector some things never change I still orange correct to this day done this um orange correcting you know just on my dark spots and like any um 
beard region or there's any place any place that I have like dark pigmentation so I'm just really taking that orange corrector and just um, placing that all over like on my under eyes and my beard area so that I can cancel out when we put on my foundation so yeah, that's literally what I'm doing and then um, I'm just using Dragon Beauty's orange corrector and I'm taking that with um, this what brush this is this is um this is not Urban Decay. I don't know what brush this is. I literally have a brain fart right now. But I'm just taking this eyeshadow brush and it's really patting that orange corrector um, on my face. I'm just blending that out a little bit and just really focusing that product on my beard area so I can cover up like any, all that um, 5 o'clock shadowness that's like on my mouth. That's, and that's like the gold that we're trying to cover up. So I'm just using this eyeshadow brush. I use my fingers a lot too back in the day, but I've been loving the brush because I feel like my fingers have been taking up so much of that product but um yeah that's just like my per se on it and then now I'm taking some setting powder I'm just taking the Huda Beauty Easy Bake um setting powder and just placing that where we place the orange crackers just because I don't want um the orange cracker to mix in with my foundation so it will like create like a different like color like on my skin and you can and we won't and I really don't want to see this orange corrector like in photos when we do flash photography and stuff like that that is a no-no for me so this is a trick that um people forget to do when they um color correct and literally when I put people onto this they like they literally thank me so much because this is like the key and then like my skin's still still really good so now we're gonna move on to foundation so I think for foundation today I'm gonna be using a new foundation I've been obsessed obsessing over so I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation this is in the um, shade 074 and I'm just gonna be taking this with the Morphe um, foundation flat brush but I want to I'm going with the flat brush first to show you guys the coverage of this um, foundation and the shade and the shade is really like a perfect match and I'm just taking this with a compact um, foundation Korean sponge um, I got this on Amazon and if you guys want the same exact sponge that I'm using um, I will link it down below I have an Amazon storefront so if you guys want this exact brush or any products that I'm using in this video I'll leave everything linked down below like I'm telling you guys so I'm just um, blending out one side of my face so I really just want to show you guys the coverage and just show you guys how this foundation looks like skin and how the foundation is looking with the glass skin technique so as you can see I still got a glow from within and this foundation is really really perfect for this technique that we're doing so now I'm just placing all I'm just placing the foundation all over my skin just really taking that time just really packing that foundation onto literally you don't really need a lot of foundation um, while you um, for this like product that you're using for um the Kat Von D like it her this foundation is really full coverage and even if you just go in and with like one swipe or anything like that, it still gives you that coverage that um, which I love and adore. So I'm just really taking my time placing the foundation all over my skin and just showing you guys that like the foundation is like literally like exact color to like my skin tone. I was like so surprised um, using this foundation. This was actually like my, I've been using this foundation like a couple times now and this has actually been like my go-to and I'm almost done with it. I'm like really afraid to buy more because like I I never like been obsessed with a foundation like before like this like it's so crazy like the coverage is really good it lasts on it lasts all day this is like what I wear like all the time now like when I'm posting on Instagram and when I'm at events and stuff like that so yeah I really do love this foundation so I'm just you know focusing that where where my eyebrows carving it on the sides and my forehead region and literally just taking my time with this and just like blending it out I feel like I'm mumbling but I'm not but I'm just really just showing you guys like what like I'm doing Okay, we're still blending that foundation out. I'm blending it all over my skin now. As you can tell on camera, this is looking like skin. I am so happy how this is turning out. Like, my skin looks so healthy and so glowy. I literally, if you guys know me, I hardly do, like, glowy foundation looks and stuff like that. I always just, I always been a mad person, just straight mad and stuff like that. But, like, literally, I don't know what changed over the time. Now I'm, like, really into, like, minimalistic makeup and, like, glowy makeup. So I am living for this makeup look. So I'm just really taking my time just blending out this um, foundation and just really, felt, and just really, like, being very conceited and jaded and like just looking myself in the in the mirror and the viewfinders and just really feeling myself for this. I feel like 
I want to stop here and just like move go on with my day and this is perfect if you people who like doesn't wear makeup a lot and they just want a little something they can do this too and this will be like so perfect for them and it looks like skin like and as you can see like I'm so glowy right now like I'm just obsessed with my skin so as of right now we're gonna go and wear concealer so first I'm gonna use covergirl I use two concealers so I use one that's like close to my skin color and then one for brightening so I'm using the color covergirl concealer this is in the shade deep golden and then I use the one up top um it's going to be elf and that's in deep golden as well what a shocker same names with different companies i know so i'm just you know concealing as normal so i'm just taking that underneath my eye taking that on my forehead cupid's bow and just you know just having a super bright under eye i love this um concealer like um technique i've been doing and like um like doubling I've been doing with like my concealer this is actually um I love how the elf and the covergirl concealer pairs together so I'm just really taking my time with that and just blending that out obviously so I'm taking you know just blending that underneath my eye and forehead and keep it to a region and just really taking my time and like just being more obsessed with myself like on camera with the viewfinder and stuff like that and I'm just like um blending this out with that um same compact triangle um sponge compact sponge too so yeah I'm just loving it and as you can see my under eyes is so snatched it's like literally like I'm just glowing all over I'm loving it I feel like I want to stop now but um obviously we can't I'm going to be setting my face with um the, that same Huda Beauty powder that we used earlier so I'm just taking it with um a big powder brush and this is where it can go wrong so quickly guys do not powder too too much just really do light touch up and still do to um set your under eyes because you don't want to lose the glass skin that we did all that glowy product it could dilute so quickly with all these powders all the same and you're gonna have like a matte face so um also i went in with the next cosmetic no filter um powder too that was in the shade deep golden as well i believe and then um i'm just setting my forehead with um that's that same Huda Beauty setting powder that we've been that we've been using. I really, um, I feel like my forehead is just being having too much texture, so that's just a personal problem. Now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna be going with the Black Radiance um, Deep Contour um, Powder um, Palette. I love this. I love this company. I love this brand. Love this product. I've been using it since day one. So I'm just contouring my cheeks as always, and then contouring my nose. This is something new that I've been doing too. I never used to contour my nose, or well, actually used to contour my nose when I started doing makeup. But and I stopped because I did used to just do like the concealer reverse contour trick and I've been obsessing with that ever since but now I go back to contouring my nose so this is how sister contour contour her nose so I contour my nostrils and then make a line in the middle and then and then drag it upwards to my eye socket so that's literally how I contour my nose so I'm just really taking that with the Morphe um, nose contour brush um i'll leave the name of the brush down below i do not know it from the top of my head i know i'm sorry i'll probably leave it on the screen right now too but i'm just really taking my time and contouring my nose because i can go contouring your nose can go wrong so quickly too it, you could give yourself a botched nose but this is literally how i contour my nose and i'm loving i'm obsessed with it like i i feel like nose contouring is like such like a key staple for like makeup routine right now too and i love how my nose it's like a little cute like button nose like when i contour my nose so i'm just loving and i'm just really taking my time just contouring my nose and i'm like living dying breathing for it and then i just like to clean the brush too and so like blend it out and stuff like that too so yeah so this is like literally how i contour my nose and now i'm going to bake my nose contour so you know this baking left from the size same powder still using Huda Beauty's easy bake um powder just to like bake I use this powder a lot in this video you can as you can tell and then baking my contour to just setting that underneath too and just like you know making everything's chisel retouching up my um forehead and then um taking swiping off that bake off my nose contour and just being very careful now we're gonna go into eyes I have been using the creme shop line friends um eyeshadow palette so I'm just going with that light brown shade that's in my palette and I'll leave the shade um name like floating right here so I'm just taking that as just like my base color so we're just gonna create like a just a new just a regular like neutral eye um shadow look nothing too crazy nothing too dramatic uh, you guys know I love a good brown 
just a good brown natural like eyeshadow look nothing too crazy today just for today and I'm just taking that with us a Morphe M um, brush and I'm going with the Morphe M5 one brush and I'm going with that more like milk chocolate like dark chocolate brown color too so I'm just really focusing that like um by like the edge of my eyes and just like winging it out and just making it more like airbrushed and more like a little dramatic so I love how these two colors look on my eyes too especially with these blue um, contacts that I got from Olens um, contact lens company so yeah they're really really good so I'm just going with that um, with with for the M501 brush really just like taking my time and then taking that underneath my um, lash line too, smoking that out just giving it more like a natural more defined look um, with like another more beach like shader brush so loving that and then time for highlight highlighting the nose I'm just going with um, Fenty Beauty Hustler baby this is been my tried and true highlighter I love this brand so much I love obviously it's Rihanna and then I'm taking with um, the Morphe highlighter brush too taking that on my cupid's bow before I do my lips mascara I'm using Kiko Milano extra sculpt this is the regular one not the waterproof one um, I'm just using that just to get my eyelashes some big volume some big dramatic I don't really wear lashes I have long lashes anyway as you can see then I'm going with Kiko Milano Kiko Milano sparkling holiday um eyeshadow this I think it's in zero one I'm just um taking it on my hand the back of my hand swiping it and then tapping it on my eyelids just how I get that like um k-beauty eye look that um everyone see like on TikTok and Instagram that Ong Zong eye look too this is how you do it I'll do a more in-depth video how you do it and how, how it's more precise um, in the future so um, now I'm going to be going in with my lip stain this is um, this company it is called I have the name right here I don't know why I have a brain fart it is called Rome Roman and you and I'm taking that as the last this is a lasting um, the juicy lasting tint um, lip tint in the shade 16 so I'm just taking that color and just tapping it with my ring finger taking my time with, with it adding more color if I want to this is how to get um, the jelly like lip that like K hey beauty lips so I'm just really taking my time with this lip product and um, just really having fun with it if you know me like I hardly wear red like colors like these um, if you want you can stop like like that but if you want to get that jelly lip, you can add the gloss with it too. And I, I per se love the gloss look of it, the jelly lip style. So I love it. This is how it looks. My lips look so good. It looks so refreshed. It looks so like snatch. I'm, I'm just obsessed with this look. So yeah, this is literally like how it looks. And I'm just feeling myself, obviously. And now I'm actually going to change. Let's change and give this whole fantasy. So as, as of right now, as, as you can see, I change. I'm loving this look. I'm just really obsessed with this like I just love how my skin just like refresh and just looks so youthful and just looks so cool and like it's like a new vibe a new style so that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys had a good time I love you guys and don't forget to stay strong bye guys <laughs>